Yo, what's goody, fam? The reason why you haven't done that thing that you want to do, the reason why you haven't taken that risk, the reason why you don't feel the way you want to feel, the reason why you haven't become the person that you want to become is because you haven't given yourself permission to do so. Everything begins with mindset. And part of that, you have to believe. You have to, again, I don't like the word believe, but you have to know and you have to have an understanding around the fact that what it is that you're focused on is possible and you have agency and you have a right to make it happen. You can't access something that you haven't given yourself permission to access. And so, you know, in my lived experience, I realized in hindsight that a lot of the things that, you know, a lot of the delays that I experienced, a lot of the hardship, a lot of the mishaps came from me thinking or me believing or me seeing the situation in the frame of I have to wait until I have to wait until, you know, they think I'm ready or I have to think I have to wait until I think I'm ready or I have to wait until I make this amount of money or I have to wait until I have myself established in this way or I have to wait until I have the right equipment to record this video. I have to wait until I have this degree or I have to wait until, you know, I'm in a relationship or I have a you know family before I'm complete. Whatever it is, it all starts with permission. And the reality is you don't need anybody's permission to do anything. It's a gift that you give yourself. It's something that you empower yourself with. And so if there's anything that you want to do, if there's a goal, you know, that you want to attain, if there's something on your vision board, it's going to start with, one, you believing, you knowing that it's possible, knowing that you're capable, knowing that you're competent, and then giving yourself permission to go access it. And it's a tricky thing because it's almost like triple darkness, right? It's it's like you don't know that you don't know. But what I mean by that is there's, there's things that you're conscious that you know. And you, you, I, you know your name. You know where you grew up. You know where you live. And there's things that you know that you don't know. You know that you, you know, I know I don't know Japanese. I don't know rocket science, but then there's things that you don't know that you don't know. And that's where things get tricky, where things could get dangerous because awareness breeds choice, right? You, you can't choose something you're not aware of and you can't solve a problem that you're not aware of. You can't choose something that you're not exposed to. And the beauty of that, it may, it may sound disheartening, but the beauty in that is all you have to do is get exposed. Once you become aware of something, now it becomes an option. And the current state of your life at this moment right now is a reflection of the choices that you're making. But the things that you're choosing doesn't represent all of the choices that exist out there. And so I say that to say your dream life, right? That rich life you want, that dream life, whatever it is that you're looking for is out there and is waiting for you. But you won't be able to choose it until you get exposed to the information, until you get exposed to the choice, until you, get, until you get exposed to the people who can connect you to it. And I think that's the thing that should get you excited about, about life. It's the thing that gets me excited. Being able to meet new people, even though I'm an introvert, being able to meet new people, have interesting conversations, experience new things. And those experiences, those books that I read, the movies, the conversations I have, afford me a perspective. It gives me additional choices to choose from. And that adds a richness, that adds options to my life. And the more options I have, the more possibilities I have, the more likely I am to be able to have the life that I ultimately want, the more likely I am to become the person that I want to become. Sometimes you can't be it because you haven't seen it. it comes down to exposure. But you have to give yourself permission. For me, 
in my experience in my life, I, I've had to give in, I've, I've had to give myself permission a lot of times. You know, one of the first times I can remember is just giving myself permission to be smart. So we keeping it, you know, we keeping it a hundred. In in the black community, it, it's not cool to be smart. Like if you have a command of the English language, you know, if you you know how to use proper vernacular, like they say that you you talk in white or it, it's something wrong, it's shunned. So I I can recall giving myself permission to be smart. The old heads in my hood used to call me smart guy, right? Like whatever I did outside, whatever I got into, whatever street stuff I was involved in, I always went to school. I never skipped class. And I never let anybody in my environment, none of the peer pressure, I never let anything like get me off my square. And because I gave myself permission to be smart, to be really myself ultimately, but I gave myself permission to be, to be smart, I was able to use school as a vehicle to get myself out of you know, you know, public housing and living in the, you know, being in the, in the projects and all that. And I think that's important. You know, later on in life, you know, I, I gave myself permission to, to be a person, you know, of, of honor, a person of, of integrity. I gave myself permission to be, I gave myself permission to make mistakes and probably to, you know, I think the most important choice I ever made was giving myself permission to be me unapologetically, without judgment, without expectation. But that that came from, you know, trial and error. I can recall giving myself permission to release my marriage when I had to eventually go through a divorce. Right. Something that I as a as a child really worked myself really like purposed myself to get right, you know, growing up in, you know, a, f a family dynamic that could be viewed as dysfunctional, depending on who's, you know, who you're talking to. I really wanted to get family right. And so a lot of the, the struggle that I had going through my divorce was having that vision, that thing that I worked so hard to get right, falter, right? I'm, I've been through breakups before so that, you know, I could I could conceptualize that I could get that. But giving myself permission to let go of this vision that I had as a little boy, this this desire, this this need to to get it right and to have family look a certain way was the thing that I really struggled with. It was the thing that I grappled with the most, the thing that kept me up at night, the thing that would make me go through the wave of emotions. You know, the thing that I had to go and, and go to therapy about was giving myself permission to let it go. And the moment I released that, the moment I gave myself permission to, to start over, I can't tell you how much of a blessing it has been for me to rebuild, you know, Dewan 2.0 from scratch, like really rebuild my life from scratch in a, meaningful, you know, deliberate and intentional way, but do it with the with the focus of what is going to serve me best, what is going to align with who I am and who I want to be the best. If I didn't give myself permission to do that, I can't tell you where I would be or how my life might look. What I can tell you is that I wouldn't have experienced the growth and the transformation that I had. I, I could tell you I wouldn't have gone on to, you know, start the businesses that I've started, had the success that I've had professionally. I wouldn't have been able to find love again, you know, meet my wife and, and get married again and have the opportunity to do family again um, with much more experience, be able to do it with the tools to make, you know, these things successful. Most importantly, you know, I wouldn't have had the know-how, I wouldn't have had the courage or the audacity to live life authentically, unapologetically myself every day and know that no matter where I go, no matter who I'm around, no matter what room I walk in, I'm being 100% myself 100% of the time. And there's a peace in that, there's a freedom in that that is priceless.
And it's not something that I'm willing to compromise for anything or anybody. And that's because I gave myself permission to be me. I'm not willing to abandon myself for anything or anybody. And whatever comes with that, I'm okay with. So if you are looking to have, if, if you want to fast track, if, if you want to figure out how to get everything that is for you, if you want everything that is for you and you want to remove everything that is not for you, right? Some of y'all are out there, you know, praying that Sierra prayer. Or some of y'all are having, saying prayers. Or if it's not for me, remove the relationships, all that. You ain't even got to do all that. If you want the life that is truly yours, it starts with giving yourself permission to be you, period. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. The moment you do that and you walk in that and you live that, Every single day, the moment you choose yourself early, often, and continuously, even when it's not convenient, everything that's not for you is going to repel. It's going to run away from you. It's going to get away from you so fast. And everything that is for you is going to attract. It's going to find you. Everything that's not for you is going to leave. It's going to create space for the things that are. And you might be uncomfortable with the newness and the change and the transition, but you'll look up in six months and a year and realize this feels good. And I might not have the same level of stimulation and it might not be as active, but it feels good and it's peaceful. And I invite you to that. Give yourself permission to be you. Give yourself permission to write that book. Give yourself permission to love. Give yourself permission to be love. And I guarantee that your life will transform for the better.